for the saints. It has been brought to my attention that in the state that I'm living in, there's a thing called phase three, which means that we are going to have more liberties and more freedoms to assemble. That's quite wonderful, isn't it? Yes. Well, <clears throat> I don't go to church like that quite regular, but occasionally I like to visit. I, I like to visit. So uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet and get to the point, okay? Hey, everybody. For me, as a person who doesn't regularly go to church, sometimes my experience has been people serve at the church. This would be to all members, saints, and friends. Please, if you have someone who is in the kitchen ministry, who cannot cook, please, please, do not put them in the kitchen. Furthermore, do not serve any of their food. You know they can't cook. Why you got the poison the rest of us? You know Sister Grace cannot cook. You know her food is not good. You know that we are going to get sick. That is not a good ministry. One thing I hate to see is we come out of church. Church already done finished. Everybody done fellowship. The spirit done got good and high. And everybody want to come and eat. You got that good fried chicken. You know, Sister Jones done cooked the fried chicken. Sister Gayla done cooked her string beans, mac and cheese or whatever. Then you got Sister Grace. With her gritty rice that's wet. You see how that messes up the plate? Rice ain't supposed to be gritty and wet. You see what I'm saying? So when you got people and they making gritty wet rice with no flavor, no, that, that, that don't, don't work for me. That ain't in my spirit. You, you see what I'm saying? That, that don't work for me. Now, it might work for you, but it don't work for me. Okay? So this is my public service announcement. Please! Please! Get the people that can't cook out the kitchen. Okay? There's other things they can do. That just ain't they calling. Maybe it's a dish that they like to cook and their husband told them it was good. Honey, that's your husband. He gonna tell you that it's good because he don't want to sleep on the couch. That's your husband. The rest of us know that food ain't good. And maybe they can cook something else. They might be able to cook um water. Or make good sweet tea. You know what I'm saying? Stick with sweet tea. You ain't got to cook nothing extra, extra you ain't no blueberry cobbler, something like that. That's out of your league. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't used to that and you don't do that all week long, don't have no specialty meals for us because we can't afford to get sick at your expense. We don't want it. We do not want it. We don't want it. We love you. We just don't want it. So this is my thought for today. Please. Please. I mean, and if they can't do none of that right and they want to be in the kitchen and they have a pleasant smile, let them be a greeter and do the seating and put food on the plate. It's very hard to mess up putting food on the plate. It's very hard to mess that up. So if you want to be in the kitchen ministry and and, and, and stuff like that, let, let them put, put food on the plate and, and, and stuff like that. Make sure to wash your hands now because, you know, do that. You know, you can always wash your hands, but uh, please, please. For the sake of all that's holy, keep them out the kitchen. Please. <laughs>